Hey guys, Dan Z Black here for another tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to record Fortnite cinematics for your Fortnite edits and montages. Remember to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and let's get right into this. So first thing you want to do is change the mode to Battle Lab. Then you want to go on to Match Options. You can see the spawn location. You can change it to maybe, let's do it in Holly Hedges. And then you can pick what loot. We can do one shot for only snipers. Also, I'd recommend changing drop items when eliminated if you want death cinematics. And you can put it to day or night, whatever cinematic you want. And hit accept. Then launch your battle lab game. Alright, so now that we are in the game, now we need to find a kind of flat area to record your cinematic. So now that we've cleaned out the area, we can now run in it without having our cinematics obstructed by trees and crops in the area. So now what you want to do is you want to just run in a straight line and make sure you have your gun out of choice. You may want to do a couple actions as well, like maybe shooting and reloading, maybe crouching. Now that we've gone into the game to record the actions of the cinematics, now we can actually get into recording them. So now that we're back into the menu, you want to go onto career, replays, you want to go into your most recent one and click play. So you want to go to the point in time where you actually got your cinematics, like the actions that you used and that you want to use into your edit. Okay, so the first step when recording cinematics is to plug in a controller. Recording with a controller makes your actions much smoother. So now you want to go to the point where they're like running and where I start getting the cinematic. I think that's a, slight, a tiny bit back. Alright, so it's right here. I'll go for an overview of the camera tools. So there's drone attach, drone free, gameplay, third person, drone follow. That's all of them. So the first thing is drone attach. What this does is it makes it follow your character like this. I wouldn't recommend doing this just on its own. However, you can pair it up with what you are, like with your camera movements and you can also move it yourself. So it can work out. You can use drone free, which is the best one probably. So this doesn't make you follow the character or anything and you can have your own settings for everything. Gameplay. I would not recommend using this for anything other than say you missed your trick shot, you f your Nvidia wasn't on on your trick shot, and you wanted to just capture it again. Third person, I would not recommend using this either. And finally, drone follow. So this follows the character, I wouldn't recommend using this either. So for this first cinematic, I think we're going to use drone attach. And make sure to go into your camera settings so the aperture depends how blurry it is in the background the higher the aperture the less blur the lower the aperture the more blur the autofocus is if you want to do it yourself i'd recommend doing this for still cinematics so now your focal length this all depends on what type of editor you are and what sin you want i personally don't go to go for far fov cinematics and I wouldn't recommend doing so unless you know how to use them right. But I normally do around 90 FOV or so for like my player cinematics. It, it obviously depends on what cinematic you want. Like maybe 78 for this one, maybe, uh, maybe 200. Like it does depend on what cinematic it is. The auto exposure is how much exposure you want and if you want to do it yourself or if you want Fortnite to do it for you and that should be it for those settings so now on to actually recording the cinematic so what you want to do is 
you want to make sure the movement is smooth it can't be like moving to the left or right it has to be smooth so you need to keep your fingers still when recording this press the top left stick to hide the hud and then put your drone speed to around the lowest or second to lowest or possibly the third if you need to make sure to use rule of thirds that wasn't a bad cinematic but you just need to make sure not to include the camera hitting the ground now we'll try another one from the other side Also going to get a cinematic of them crouching right here. So now that you've recorded all your cinematics, you want to exit and go back to the main menu. Now that you're in After Effects, you can click New Composition. Make sure it's 24 FPS, 1920 by 1080 and click OK. Now you want to import your cinematics, file, import, file. Now that we've got our cinematics, you want to drag it into the timeline and you want to cut it to where you actually got the right cinematic you wanted. Now what you want to do is right click on your clip, click time and then click enable time remapping place a marker on the first beat that you want the cinematic to start on and then place the marker at the end of the beat that you want it to start on I mean to end on my bad and then you want to drag it out to where the cinematic ends so now you want to highlight your two keyframes and click F9 on your keyboard. Now what that does is that eases your keyframes so you can adjust them on the graph. So click on the graph editor. So we're gonna make this bigger by clicking this and then approximately the type curve we'd like is something along the lines of this. Obviously there are people who do it differently and you can also do a keyframe in the middle as well and what this does is it makes it so that the middle is a lot slower than the rest of them. Some people like the curves to be extremely flat in the center so what this does is it makes it so that the start is extremely sharp and the middle is extremely slow. It depends what type of edit you're going for. So now I would recommend pan cropping the cinematic but the thing is with pan crop everyone's changes per on depending on what editor they are so the pan crop depends on each individual person like i do mine different to some other people and that's just preference so i'm not going to teach it in today's tutorial so anyways guys that's it for my tutorial i hope you enjoyed this cinematic tutorial if you did enjoy it remember to drop a like subscribe to the channel with notifications on and comment down below what helped you and if you learned anything at all and anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video and peace out